Welcome to Crafty Hint. I'm Chantel. Can you believe we're already into fall decor? Well, today I'm sharing some mini tear tray decor items. I am going to be in a collaboration here. Crafted by Corey is hosting a mini challenge, so there'll be a playlist below. Let's get to our first DIY. Now, I took these mini pumpkins that I got at the Dollar Tree. There's various sizes, and I just wanted to take the stems out of all of them. Next, I need to poke a hole through the center. I first tried with a straw, it wasn't strong enough, so this is the end of a paintbrush, and I think I ended up moving up to a larger paintbrush than this one, because what we're going to be doing, if you didn't see it at the beginning, was we're going to be feeding this yarn around it. So I took a yarn needle and I just took the yarn and I'm just tying it around the hole. This will kind of anchor it in there and then I just slid that over and put the knot in the hole. I'm not sure that was necessary. I could probably leave it at the bottom so it left a little bit more space in the center. But then all you're going to do is take your needle and go around and around and around. So this is a pretty easy process. I'm going to take that yarn needle and just move that knot a little bit. And then I'll just start going around this pumpkin. I did decide to line these up going all the way around with the first one. I don't know if it's necessary, I thought that it might make it a little bit of a smoother finish, but I will show you my last one where I lined up some of it, but I kind of just let it go. Wherever the open areas were, I would go back and just fill that in. So you just continue from the top around to the bottom, and then when you run out of yarn, you just take it around, make a little knot, and just make sure that's on the bottom and then cover it up and then take some more yarn and do whatever you're comfortable with. I ended up taking more the second time because I didn't want a lot of knots to cover up, but whatever works best for you. Towards the end, you've got a lot of yarn in there, so I kind of press it down on my mat to push it through. And then I'm just going to go around and make sure there isn't any little white part showing. You could definitely paint your pumpkins the color of your yarn also so that if anything did show it isn't as obvious. So after I clip that off and make sure that it I had tied it now I'm just gonna push it down in there on both sides so that my pumpkin sits flat. And then I'll also have a spot to put my stem back in. And when you do that, you will have a couple of your strands of yarn that kind of move a little bit because you've pressed that yarn down in there. So just fix those and you should be good to go. This is an ivory colored pumpkin that I did. Now you could add a dab of hot glue there. I didn't, I just pressed it in. It has the little Barbie things on it that kind of helps it grip. Now here's the last one that I kind of, I didn't make sure it was perfect going all the way around. And I think it still looks just fine. But I just go back and make sure those last couple strands just covered up any spots I needed covered. And then again, I will put the stem in there. You could definitely use a little branch if you wanted to. Again, the details are however you want to add them. But here's all three. I have the ivory and the blue and the green. So I have three different sizes here. Didn't those turn out pretty? Right, DIY too. So now I'm going to take one of these little, they kind of look like little solo cups. 
I think you could use them, I guess they're used for shots or whatever. It's a little pack of, I think, 18 of them. I thought it kind of looked like a bucket. So that's what I'm going with. I started out with some Waverly Steel and ended up switching over to the Waverly Elephant. Now I took a zip strip and I painted the pointy end. I got these three from the Dollar Tree as well. Everything you see is from the Dollar Tree. They have three different sizes. The larger one that's on the skewer, the medium size is from that branch, and then the little mini pack of 10 is the other one that I'll grab. I thought that these, you know, it just had the right size to them to kind of stagger them. And now I just grabbed one of those skewers and I'm gonna go back and use Waverly's pumpkin and just give this a once over. Now I'm gonna take the mini one and do the same thing. I did not paint the middle one. I kind of liked the color that it was but I will add some accents to it. So I'm taking a little bit of ivory chalk paint. You can add whatever accent color you'd like. If you want the indents darker, you could do a darker color. And I'm painting this one while it's wet along those indentions, but I didn't want it such a stark white, so I'm kind of just blending it with that orange. Now I went to that middle pumpkin and I used my Waverly pumpkin color. And I went in all the indentions or crevices there and then came back with a wet wipe and just took off the extra. Anything that was on the pumpkin. This is that bigger bottom one. I thought it needed one more coat and I just used my floral foam to stick it on. Now I used, um, I believe I used my weeding tool for my Cricut to make the hole in this. You could use a screwdriver, you could use a needle. It's pretty thin. Just make sure you make a hole on each side that's straight across from each other. And I clipped that down and now you're just gonna size it up to be the size that you'd like it for your bucket. Now I'm taking that skewer and going through the middle one and then through the bottom one. Once I had them lined up, I grabbed a little bit of hot glue, scooch that back up, let that set. Now the top one. Just making sure you get that in the middle. Perfect, and now I'm going to grab some of my moss. If you see, I did toss a couple rocks in the bucket so that it doesn't get tippy. You could also use those pebbles. That's what I was thinking about using, but I only came across two that were handy, so I just grabbed some rocks. Now scooch out your moss a little bit so that it peeks out from under your pumpkins. Give this some hot glue. I kind of waited and measured this and was deciding, do I want my bucket handle in the front? Do I want it in the back? Next, I just touched up the stem with a little bit of brown. Here we go. I really like how these turned out. I hope you're enjoying these. If you are, take a look at my channel. There may be some other videos here that you might like. I have some fall videos from last year also, as well as my Christmas, if you're starting to think about that. Gosh, it's hard for me to think about fall already, let alone Christmas, right? It's over 90 degrees here today. But I just wanted to make sure you knew that I've got several videos out there that you might enjoy. 
So DIY three, we're going to take another one of those cups and I started out with hazelnut. I want this one to look kind of like a planter and I decided it needed a little bit of texture. So I mixed some acrylic paints and a little bit of my chalk paint with some baking soda and you kind of want it like kind of the consistency of like a milkshake. And so I just painted that on. As you can see, it'll start to give it some texture. And if it isn't enough, go back with more like I did. I just mixed up a little bit more and I just kind of wanted it like a cl old clay pot, not perfectly smooth. I just, I wanted some texture to it, a little bit chunky. It, and then if you fold over your wax paper, that'll protect your paint as well as your paintbrush. So I took these. I also got them from the Dollar Tree. Again, all Dollar Tree products here to make my stuff. You want to fluff up these petals so that they actually look like a sunflower. I'm letting my planter dry. Now I just went back with a little bit of gray, which you know isn't necessary, but I kind of want it to grab those ridges. The hazelnut color might have been another good idea to go over it with, but make it your own. Then I took some floral foam and just cut off the corners so that it will fit in here and just scooch that in there. Perfect. I think I did throw one rock in the bottom. A little hot glue, a little more moss. Just want to cover that up nicely so that when we poke in our sunflowers, we don't really see that floral foam. And so just kind of play around with these. Do you want them facing up? Do you want them facing forward? I think I moved them every which way several times. I went back after this and I think I moved more facing up. But I threw in one of the tiny pumpkins from the 10 pack. Next, I just took a little bit of yellow and went on the indentions of this little tiny pumpkin. I just thought it would pull a little bit of the yellow from the sunflowers. And I kind of like how that turned out. Just gave it just that little extra that it needed. Got on the sides. This is just a tiny brush. Went back with a wet wipe to wipe it off of the sides like I did my other big pumpkin before. So it gives you just enough. I needed a touch up there. Next, I just took some jute twine, wrapped, glued that on the back, wrapped it around a few times until it looks the way you want it to. Then glue it again in the back. Next, I'm going to put a little bit at the bottom. Thought it needed a little bit of an accent there too. See what I mean though? It just kind of looks like a pot that's been out there and aged or, you know, was made kind of rough. I don't know. I kind of like it. So don't forget, you can use chalk paint, you can use acrylic paint, whichever you would like. Just snip that off there. Another little dab of glue. And that should about do it. How cute is that? So fun. Now this isn't fully styled, but I did put all my DIYs on here. That Hello Pumpkins from another DIY. All right, and to our next one. This is our final DIY. If you watch some of my summer videos, I use that hula skirt and I'm still cutting off pieces from it. So it was really useful in my boho video, but I'm gonna make a cornstalk with it. 
So I wrapped it around about four times for the taller part. And now I just took and folded over a couple of times for the rest of the bottom to make the bottom thicker because the corn stalks would be, you know, more full on the bottom and thinner on the top. I took one of my pumpkin skewers to put it in the middle to give it a little bit of stability. And that's what will go in my little hay bale. That hay bale is also from the Dollar Tree. When you open those, make sure you shake it out over the garbage or you will have hay. Actually, it's probably a straw bale. Straw everywhere. So I just took that little floral that I got from the Dollar Tree also and thought it kind of looked like the corn tassels. So I took some of the pieces and just kept snipping until it looked the way I wanted to. I'm going to just glue this to one of my extra skewers from the pumpkins. And then those other little pieces that I cut off, I can glue in in other areas. So now I'm just going to take my pieces and scooch it back around it. There's my other one to put a little bit of hot glue on the end. Glued that one in. I'll take another one, little daub of hot glue. Very simple. So I love making budget friendly decor. Tear trays are just so fun and can be changed up every season. And so that's what we're doing here. And this one can last, you know, it doesn't have to just be for Halloween or just for fall. You can kind of incorporate a lot of these into both and they'll also, you know, go into Thanksgiving. So you definitely want to do that when you can. Again, if you like this video, I hope you're hitting that thumbs up the subscribe, and then the bell. Please hit the bell so it notifies you anytime I upload a new video. I would just love to see you as part of my friends and family here. All right, I'm going to take that skewer and just push it in there and try and get it to fit in around that hay. I didn't use any glue. I really just poked it in there. And then I'm going to trim my corn stalks and you know pieces around to make it sit on there nicely so as we're getting to our last DIY here which one was your favorite sometimes it's hard to pick I'm not sure which my favorite was maybe the yarn pumpkins just because they're so different and they could be placed in several different places. You could make up a bunch of those just sitting in front of the TV watching a movie. You know, it's not something that you need some hot glue. It's just you, a needle, and your pumpkin. So I'm taking one of those little pumpkins, left some of the skewer on the bottom. I did use a little bit of hot glue, or I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue here so it does... Oh, I guess I didn't leave the skewer on the bottom. I did just glue those on and I did trim down the stems on the top. But you definitely could leave a bit of that skewer on the bottom and poke that in there also. And it's as simple as that. Cute little decor piece. I truly hope that you've enjoyed this. I surely did. Don't forget to hit, go down to the playlist and visit my friends down below. All right? Thank you so much for visiting me. Here's another video you might like. <music>